Pray that Israel would repent in Jesus' name. Pray that Israel would repent in Jesus' name. There are many prayers going out to Israel right now, but this is the most important thing that we can pray right now. It is a fearful thing when the Lord allows you into the hands of your enemy. He allows your enemy its weapons to prosper, right? Doesn't the word say that weapons will form, but they will not prosper? That is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And when we wholeheartedly refuse Jesus Christ as Lord, how can we expect his protection? Likewise, he will, he has in scripture delivered enemies into the hands of those who are faithful to him. It goes both ways. This wouldn't be the first time, you know, Israel who inherits a holy land, yet many, perhaps most, refuse to be a holy people and receive the blood of Jesus Christ. And we see this in, in Amos chapter 9. Sure, in verse 8, surely the eyes of the sovereign Lord are on the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from the face of the earth, yet I will not totally destroy the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord. For I will give the command, and I will shake the people of Israel among all the nations as grain is shaken in a sieve, and not a pebble will reach the ground. All the sinners among my people will die by the sword. All those who say disaster will not overtake or meet us. But there is hope. There is hope that we see in Romans 11, 25 through 27. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come from Zion. He will turn godlessness away from Jacob, and this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Pray that Israel would come to repentance. It is the best thing that we can pray for Israel because we know that we are always covered by the from the fiery darts of the enemy, from the hands of our mortal enemies. We are always cared for and covered when we are faithful to the Lord. Pray that all would repent in Jesus' name.